Hey, change agents. It's Tracy V. Allen from TVA Consulting, where we help our clients develop the systems and processes needed to build and grow a profitable, sustainable, and compliant infrastructure. And today I'm coming from, to you from a different point of view, right? So I have my whiteboard behind me and we're still talking about strategic planning because again, I am passionate about strategic planning and it is one of my area of speciality. So today we're talking about the strategic planning cycle, all right? And the first part of the cycle before we even get to the first part of the cycle, it all starts right here. And I hope that you guys can see this. It starts with the mission. You must be mission centered. No matter what you do in your organization, in your business, you have to stay on mission. What is your mission? What is it that you're hoping to achieve? The actions that you're taking. So everything that you do surrounds the mission. Okay, stay mission centered. Okay, so now that we have our mission in mind, we need to move through the cycle of a strategic planning. So the first thing we have is what are our goals? What goals and objectives do we want to achieve to accomplish this mission, right? So the goals. So the goals are where do we wanna go? Where are we trying to go with the strategic planning process? No one has a strategic planning session or does strategic planning just for the heck of it. You're doing it because you have an ultimate goal in mind. What is the goal based on the mission? Because remember, we're staying mission centered. Then what is your desired outcome? So you have your mission, you have the goals to achieve the mission. What do you hope to achieve from those actions, your goals and objectives. What is the desired outcome? Okay. How will you get there? All right. What do you need to do to get there? So that's where the strategies come in. That's the steps that you're going to take to achieve your goals and your desired outcome. There needs to be a process in which you go through in order to get to the um, to get to the outcome. So you have to have your strategies step by step how you're going to do what's necessary in order to achieve your goals. So once you have your strategies, now how do we know that these strategies are actually working? Well, we need to have benchmarks. We need to have some type of evaluative process to determine whether the strategies are bringing us closer to our desired outcome and back to our mission. Okay, so once you start going through these steps in the strategic planning process, you have to be benchmarked to see, okay, so if we do X, Y, and Z, are we going to get this desired outcome? If we're not getting that, then we need to go back to the drawing board and tweak the strategies or tweak the desired outcome in order to get to the mission. Okay, so we have our benchmarks. Now, what do you do with these benchmarks? The benchmarks determine whether or not you're getting closer to your results. Okay, so your results and your desired outcomes go hand in hand. Okay, so you have your desired outcome. What results are you getting? Did you make it happen? Okay, so right here, did you make it happen? Did you achieve the goals and objectives that you set to get the desired outcome through the strategies, met your benchmarks, and now you have results. Once you have the results, can you improve upon them? So you just don't get the results and then that's it. It's over, it's done with. No, you have to then sit down with your team again and figure out, okay, so we got some results based on our desired outcome. But can we make it better? Because it's not a one and done thing. It, it, it continues onward. So you got your desired outcomes. You want to see if you can improve on it to get longevity or more longevity in your outcomes um, or in your results and make it just better. There's always room for improvement in anything that you do. So this is the basic strategic cycle. Again, we have to stay mission centered. Right, and from our mission, we're gonna create goals or and objectives. I didn't put objectives here, right? So that is where you're going. You're going to get a desired outcome. What do you hope to achieve from the um, the actions that you're going to be taking here, which are the strategies, 
Okay, so the step-by-step -step process of how you're going to get here, you have to have benchmarks for those strategies, right? So that you know if you're, those strategies are working or whether or not you need to go back to the drawing board and start all over again, or you need to tweak it or get rid of it altogether. Then you're going to evaluate your results. Did you achieve your desired outcome? And how long, you know, are those desired outcomes holding through or true to what your mission is, right? And then when you, once you finish that, you sit down through the evaluative process and you determine if you can improve upon those goals and objectives. Your basic strategic planning cycle, and again, everything that you do must stay mission-centered. That is the one number one key, stay on mission. If you're staying on mission, you're not gonna really have a problem. If you're getting off mission, then Houston, we've got a problem, right? So thank you for joining me today again, Change Agents, and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Bye.